welcome back in the rural heart of Portugal at the uh, lonely hill at Alcadao. Uh, I should do an update on the workshop but not much happened this winter. It was very wet, very cold and then there is not much to find on the well on the, in, in the skips and and so we have to recycle everything and we have to do with what we find along the road so but we did get a uh, uh, a saw table, a table saw uh, due to uh, a lovely lady who sponsored us so I'm very happy with that uh, I did make this uh, tripod system on the ceiling to well to film everything here on the table I made a little sewing machine <laughs> motor on it so I can send it back but well the string always breaks so I've got to find another solution for that but well on the other hand it's not really important I can just move it around and put it here so a lot of projects going on I'm here for oh, seven eight hours a day but it's uh, well like I said it's lonely you get sometimes imagining things and well but first project now is to make sure that I'm getting out of the shop on time because I will have to go to the train station every night and I'll be there at seven because my wife comes from Lisbon where she works and I got to get her from the train and if I'm here all by myself then well, sometimes I forget time so first thing we're gonna do is make a shop clock one two one two three four is gonna take so much away but there's a way that time can offer you a trade time is gonna take so much away but there's a way that time can offer you a trade you gotta do something that you can get nicer at you gotta do something that you can get wiser at you'd better do something that you can get better at cause that's the only thing that time will leave you with cause time is gonna take so much away but there's a way that time can offer you a trade It might be cabaret, it could be poetry It might be trying to make a new happy family It could be violin repair or chemistry But if it's something that takes lots of time, that's good Cause time is gonna take so much away But there's a way that time can offer you a trade Because your looks are gonna leave you And your city is gonna change too your shoes you're gonna wear through but there's a way that time can offer you a trade you gotta do something that you can get smarter at you'd better do something you might just be a starter at you'd better do something that you can get better at because time is gonna take so much away but that's the way that you can offer time a trade They call a trade a trade Like when they say that you should go and learn a trade The thing that you do doesn't have to be to learn a trade Just get something back from time for all it takes away And it could be many things It could be anything It could be expertise in Middle Eastern traveling Something to slowly sow to balance life's unraveling You have no choice You have to pay time's price But you can use the price to buy you something nice Something you can only buy with lots of time So when you're old you blow some whippersnapper's mind And it might be researching a book that takes you seven years A book that helps to make the path we take to freedom clear And when you're done you see it started with a good idea One good idea could cost you thousands of your days But that's just time that you'd be spending anyway You have no choice, you have to pay time's price But you can use the price to buy you something nice so I've decided recently to try to trade more decently.
Now this is an experiment. This is a mixture of just normal wood glue and real gold dust. Some glitter paint and some red and white, uh, red and blue uh, pigment. Made it into some kind of thick paint and now trying to fill all the little gaps that are there and hoping with this gold that's in there that once it's dry I can sand it and I have a nice effect on this piece of willow. Why hello! It's March 20th, 2014, episode number 11 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap-Up Review. Today, I am drinking a Dragon's Milk. This is a bourbon barrel stout. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the so bourbon barrels, but my the, lady is. And I like to get her time. drunk. Keep getting uh, uh, recommendations on this from all of you, so I'm going to drink this today. Uh, not I have to bad. It up for Look at that. You like that? Could you please turn that a bit down? Ah, it's the first day Thank you bring here in Like I said, I've spray painted it a few times and had a few and coats in between uh, sanding. I want to start this off and uh, by I had to fill it up a second time from uh, because it shrank yes, with glue and the, the, the mixture I made. So, and this time I also put a bit of uh, acrylic gold ah, so paint in it. And now it, it, well, it works really nice. Thank you, so now I'm sanding it. Uh, for the last and time, and then we're gonna put some uh, good stuff. Good stuff. some numbers on it because we wanna see to well, what time is. And uh, about ten minutes ago, well, you could do that. So, that. luckily we're all good. I said a few bad words. Everything's fine. I'm and, fine. Uh, You're fine. We're all fine. Also, what if you, you uh, make the letters. Let's get started by new then, uh, stuff. I will I get us something to drink. On okay. my website. Boom, look at that. That's black. Uh, it's got a little gray specks in there. These are screen printed on American Apparel shirts. I got so many comments saying how soft these shirts are. The reason they're so soft is because they are made by the best t-shirt company in America called American Apparel. Just really good stuff. Uh, this is the Tri-Blend. Head over to drunkenwoodworker.com slash store. Pick up a t-shirt. I got a new toy. I got a new toy. I got this, uh, you see, can you see that? This is the Hawk Spoke Shave Kit. This is pretty cool. I don't own a spoke shave, uh, but I need one. And I was like, well, I can buy a nice one or, or I can make my own. And it comes with a piece of boobinga. You check that out. You like that? Boobinga. Um, all the hardware. Although my brass screws, I don't know. Can you see? Can you see that? They're corroded. I ain't gonna complain though. It gives it a a, a nice look to it. Um, so you get all the parts and it comes with a hock blade. This is the wrap. I haven't opened that up sure, yet. That's great. But hock makes some of the best blades. Okay. Check out the hock spoke shape kit. That's I'll put beer. a link down below. We dive into some videos. That's what we're so, all here for. Right? It's... This first one comes from, again, Steve Ramsey. He it is ready to a to... spice rack out of pallet wood. This is a great little project. He's, he's using um, milk paint, which I have never done. I need to do that someday. He paints it with milk paint and then wears it down with some sand and put on the edges to give it a nice rusty. Put the numbers on. So check that out. The Country Spice Rack from Steve Ramsey of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Hey, Steve. The Wood Whisper released custom poker chip trays. This is beautiful. This was uh, originally an article he wrote for Woodcraft Magazine back in the day. And now he made this video, this free video for all you guys to check out. Some great techniques of, uh, I, I like how the half uh, rounds are cut out. Uh, he, he clamps together two pieces and then drills down the middle. Good, good technique. It seems so simple when you see it, but I don't know that I would actually think to Why do that. Why did you make two ways? So, 
Some good techniques there. Mark's a great teacher. Check that out. The Custom Poker Trays by the Wood Whisperer. This next one is from Eric Lindbergh. Eric is 15 years old and he's putting out a woodworking video every week. That is so super cool. This week's video is how to make an end grain cutting board. I believe it's part one of... I think I'll two. have to make he's a template. He's doing this at 15. Yeah. Just wait a few years when he's got some experience and, and some, some years under his woodworking belt and some video making. He is going to be somebody to look out for. I would subscribe to him now and hop on that bandwagon. Good job, Eric. Here's a soda to you, Eric. Soda. Carl Jacobson. He's a turner. He's probably one of the more well-known wood-turning coffee mug. I got one of these coffee mug kits for Christmas, and I have yet to make it. And so this came out at a great time. I'll post a link where you can buy the kits down below. You do need some Forstner bits at the at the right size, some big ones. I did buy the Forstner bits that I need just for this kit. So I will be making mine soon, as soon as I catch up on some other projects around around here. Check that out. Wood Turning Coffee Mug by Carl Jacobson. Check that out. Good job, Carl. Now, normally, I only show videos that came out within the last seven days. This video actually came so, out, I think, in that completes November. So, and that don't know how I missed this one because this one Clock is for the workshop. Amazing. This one is from I could have used wooden dildo. Other numbers, yes, I think. Correct. Wooden uh, maybe These some beautiful. copper These nails or something would have looked nice, but still, I'm happy with I the result. I have some of these hanging so, around my house. I'm gonna put it up on the wall. Out, my mom comes over, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's just art. If you're making wooden dildos. You want to make sure that it is super smooth. No no rough edges. Yeah, that looks nice. Don't want splintering. Now I can see um, the time. So, thank you for watching. And, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to sure. follow our woodworking adventures and the uh, restoration of this Wouldn't workshop. Let's just say that uh, again. Because we're Didn't not done yet. Didn't so, Didn't do. next time we'll... I talk about a very that special jig that can do almost, into some emails. well not There's almost, a but a lot of things. It's called uh, the Easy Easy, and it's uh, a jig that I'm working on now, and it's gonna be, uh, uh, well, it's gonna be fun, and uh, I'll let you see what kind of things you can make on it. So for now, I... He Wish you thing. a good time, Keep up the excellent work. Uh, Keep do some woodworking, and that's a nice way to um, spend your time, so, uh, and see you all next time. Special lady, for Christmas I made her a TV stand and bought her a TV. She had no idea that this is what she was going to get. It was for uh, the bedroom. Old. She didn't even know she wanted a TV in the bedroom until she got one. Here it is. This is uh, two years ago. Christmas came up. Uh, faster than I expected and I didn't have time to make the doors so I still got to make the doors you know it came out good and I painted it black to match the other furniture in the bedroom um, actually I styled it to the style of the other furniture in the bedroom so the the top has the same chamfer and, and thickness and the size